Hey guys, uh, today we're going to talk a bit about the hips. Now the hips are really essential for trying to spare back pain particularly, uh, which is important in my line of work being a chiropractor. And in particular we're going to talk a little bit about the hip hinge, so the way that we move through the hips to try and avoid rounding off the lower back or putting too much stress or strain through the back muscles and the joints and the discs and the tissues to prevent um, back injury or just back pain in general. Um, I see this a fair amount really with uh, people who are desk bound, who sit down a lot, driving, computer work. Uh, you tend to get quite restricted hip mobility with that. Not only that, you tend to also get a little bit of gluteal or glute muscle inhibition, which again can affect the way we move through the hips and the hip control as we bend. Um, and uh, very often it leads to some back problems and back injuries. So now this is important in everyday motion. So everyday uh, movements like bending, squatting, uh, going to pick things up for example. But it's particularly important if you're a mountain biker, uh, as I found in my case. Uh, the reason it's important, and we like sometimes talk about the hip hinge, so the way we move and hinge through the hip joints. So ideally what we like to see is that when you bend forwards is that you actually keep the back nice and neutral and you hinge through the hips. So you're actually sitting back, moving through the hip joint rather than rounding off the lower back. So quite often if I see people with very restricted hips, particularly flexes, poor glute control, you often see that that hip mobility is uh, compromised, which can then transfer its way into the lower back and also put increased stress and strain on the hamstrings, the knees, all of those structures as well. So um, you also see that quite often with uh, people with hip injuries, uh, sorry, not hip injuries, back injuries. So um, hip injuries as well, obviously, that can restrict the hip motion structurally. Um, but with back injuries, if you have a, back, uh, a sprain, strain, disc problem, or even just general pain, it can make you a little bit weaker in your um, the control of the stabilizers of the spine. And I'm, uh, I'm going to do a few other videos to help people in that aspect to try and get confidence in bending through the hips. Because quite often with a back injury and pain, as soon as you bend, you get that uh, inhibition of the stabilizers because of pain and quite often um, you struggle to actually bend without keeping the back straight. So, so one thing that's a good thing to practice is what's called a hip hinge. Um, now what I often use or persuade people to use, I'm just going to grab my stick, simple broom handle, mop handle, whatever you can get hold of. And what I um, often try and get people to do, now if you do have a back injury by the way, you need to focus really on just getting your normal motion back and your confidence back in your engagement of your muscles. So uh, if you want to look at some of my other basic stabilization exercises, uh, then go ahead, but I would suggest if you do suffer with back pain, back injury, persistent particularly, you need to go really and get that checked out first. So with this, what I often recommend is that you take a hold at the top and bottom of a broom handle or stick. And what you're trying to get is you're trying to get the back of your head, the mid part of your shoulder, um, your thoracic spine between your shoulder blades and your bum staying in contact with the broom handle. So, and then what you're aiming to do is actually try to lean forwards and sit back into the hips, keeping all three contact points on that handle. Okay, don't worry too much about keeping your legs straight to start with. It's all about trying to get confidence in that motion. Okay, so you want nice relaxed hips, you want your back to stay neutral, you want your spinal stabilizers engaging. And if you struggle to do that because you've got tight, very tight and restricted hip muscles, then you need to start working on your hip mobility a little bit more. 
either some regular hip mobility routines or even some yoga. Yoga is fantastic for hip mobility. Um, and then you can start to practice doing it with legs straight, sticking that bum back, back up again. Now you do need good glute control for this, so if you are inhibited in the gluteals as well, then um, you need to start working on glute activation and I will be putting some exercises up for that too. Now the reason why this is important in mountain biking particularly, and I've found this personally, is that you need good hip motion and good core exercises to be able to get low on the bike. So if you're going down steep terrain, you want to be getting off the back of that seat. Because if you don't, you'll be going straight over the bars. It's not a good thing, obviously. But in this instance, obviously on the bike, you're going to be in a staggered stance. But if you watch some of the professional riders, their hip mobility, their movement on the bike is, um, is pristine, really. You know, you can watch someone like um, Loic Bruni. He moves beautifully on the bike. You can see him sitting back, shifting his weight. But to be able to do that, you need to be fit and healthy, obviously. You need to have good core control and also good hip mobility as well. So you're sitting back on, on the bike. But you also need to be able to actually get your body down to keep the center of gravity. Obviously, if you're too upright and you're not able to bend through the hips and you're over the, like this, chances are you're going to be going over the bars at some point. So work on being able to hinge through those hips. Really important, not just for biking, but for everyday motion as well. So if you need some help with core activation, glute activation, hip mobility, I mean, there's plenty of good stuff out there on YouTube, but I will be trying to put some exercises up to give you a helping hand. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.